Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best 10 brawlers in the game right now. So I thought I'll do this because World Finals were a couple of days ago and the meta really did shift a lot. So there's a lot of changes to the tier list and also, of course, the list I did about a month ago with all the brawlers. And we've still got a few more weeks, I would say, until the next update. So starting off with the 10th best brawler in the game right now, we have Colette. So Colette's hypercharge is the main reason why she's so meta, of course. She's like the golden st pick in heist but in other game modes she's incredibly strong as well with the introduction of so many tankier options right now she can get so much value and with the hypercharge as well all it takes is uh, for one hypercharge for the game to completely change on its head she can literally get team wipes if you combine the hypercharge with the gotcha gadget as well as as well as the gadget charge gear as well it's just made Colette such a big threat in so many different game modes and she was like the ninth most picked slash ban brawler at world finals so just going to show how incredibly strong she is right now but before we jump into the ninth best brawler in the game right now we're gonna quickly go through the brawlers that just missed out on the top 10 list so quite a few of them we've got the likes of nanny and piper who are absolutely dominating still could easily be top 10 brawlers as well but their game modes are more likely the knockouts and bounties and also gem grab as well i just think the other top 10 brawlers are a little bit more versatile but of course those brawlers really pack a punch and then we have shelly spike and gray of course shelly and spike with the hyper charges are so incredibly strong and gray is really good and especially on really cheesy ways like in gem grab for example where you can teleport and just teleport your tank into the enemy gem carrier and also the same in hot zone so a lot of cheesy ways to use it great anyways let's jump into the knife press brawler in the game now which is 8-bit so 8-bit is finally in the top 10 for me the data suggests so and so does just the gameplay overall really impressed with how 8-bit was it wasn't really banned out too much in world finals only four times but he was played probably the most out of every single brawler inside of the meta which is absolutely insane so there's a few main reasons for this 8-bit is just pretty solid of course he has a few counters with the other sharpshooters but still he has so much hp like 10k hp which is insane he's just really strong at just of course dealing damage when you combine it with the boosted booster star power you can just absolutely shred through tanks full clip pretty much any brawler in and around 4000 hp he just makes for such a big threat and as i said he's that gem carrier which you can always rely on so i think he's usable pretty much everywhere and we're starting to find see an 8-bit metal. So next up as the 8th best brawler in the game right now we have Stu. So Mr. Reliable he's actually made his way back into the top 10 mainly because for me he counters a lot of the hypercharged brawlers. Main reason for that is because of course you can literally dash away. Say for example if it's a Rosa with hypercharge you can somewhat kind of run away if you have low ping and just keep dashing away and try and get away with it and wait for that hypercharge to just expire because that's the best way to counter hypercharge right now It's by simply running away because it's so broken but of course Stu is just so reliable the pros know how to use him really well he can be used in pretty much every scenario I even saw Zeta using long dash Stu on bounty for example to counter really meta brawlers like Cordelia so there's a lot of different ways he can use Stu in this meta and he definitely is towards the top 10 okay so now jumping into the seventh best brawler in the game right now we have Maisie so I'm not trolling I finally admit that Maisie actually is a really strong brawler you guys were saying that I was sleeping on it, but so were the pros. She just wasn't used whatsoever last month. I think she had literally one game played in last month's competitive and now when you compare this to the world finals right now she was the sixth most banned slash picked brawler in the game with a 60 percent win rate so we're going to show how incredibly strong she is so you might be wondering why has she just out of nowhere became really strong so of course the pros know how to hit shots from easy that's of course the number one thing but she just has this pop-off potential which is just really polarizing especially in a game i don't know like pro ball you just need one good hypercharge super to then cycle another one and you can pretty much get a t Team wipe and get yourself a goal it's just that turnaround potential which i'm really looking for you know the best brawlers in the game have that and because only a handful of brawlers have hypercharge automatically that just puts Maisie on that pedestal and of course she literally needs like seven eight shots to cycle to her hypercharge in comparison when you think of like jesse who needs like double of that she's going to get a lot more hypercharges and she's going to impact the game a lot more so for me Maisie's very versatile and in the right hands can be so dangerous and of course with that gadget and super combination it's very deadly so now jumping into the sixth best brawler in the game right now i went with buster so buster 
he's still pretty good in the meta right now. I won't really say he's completely broken, but he's just pretty flexible and a good buster can make a good impact. Again, I'll just draw back to the main reason why he's so strong. There's a couple of reasons why. I think the automatic charging super trait is very strong. The fact that you can group up with your teammates, charge that super, and then push forward. That then uh, makes the opponents push forward, so you can uh, push backwards, sorry. So then you can get a lot of pressure on the map. That's just very good in Brawl Stars. When you can get that kind of presence and positioning, it's going to win you a lot of different games. And of course, he can't really challenge a Buster, especially if he's in and around a wall, because he'll just pull you in and destroy you. So Buster's super versatile and still one of the best brawlers in the game. And he was like the seventh most picked slash banned Brawl so stats back it up he's still an insane brawler right now it's okay, so a jumping into the fifth best brawler in the game right now we have sandy so sandy has been creeping up the list up until now where he's actually the fifth best brawler inside of the game so the stats to back this up he had the fifth highest total pick and ban percentage out of every single brawler in the game so going to show the pros really value him but not only that he had a 71 percent win rate so going through when the pros picked him they just dominated with him so there's a few main reasons for this so i think one big reason is because of his stun gadget which literally with the click of a button he can stop a lot of you know those aggressive uh, ideas especially with the hypercharges you know for example if a ball is super in onto you you can just stun him and stop that or if any brawler activates their hypercharge you're wasting that valuable five second time to get value out of hypercharge and of course you can run away to stop them hitting you that's just a really good thing you know this meta is very uh, i would say uh, the top brawlers just are there because they can counter hypercharged brawlers. You know, for example, Gale, he's been picked so much just to literally counter those hypercharged brawlers. But anyways, talking about Sandy, also, there's not many counters to him. And the fact that, again, it's just a complete chaos meta, he's able to cycle his super a lot more and be a lot more sneaky. And again, there's just not many hard counters out there for him. Okay, so now jumping into the fourth best brawler in the game right now, we have a Lou. Lou is absolutely dominating in competitive ladder. Wherever I go, he's just there. Ever since the hype charge came out, of course, I made probably like a million videos saying how strong he is. And it still is backed up by the data because he was the second most banned slash picked brawler in the game right now. Going to show how strong his hypercharge is. The main, the main reason why it's so strong is because with the hypercharge, of course, you literally instantly free someone and then you shoot them two times and then you cycle another super. So then you can throw that onto the next brawler. And then you could even potentially cycle three supers with one hypercharge, which is just absolutely insane. And of course, with how big his super is, you're literally covering the whole, like a half of the map with an ice rink. It's just absolutely insane. Again, all you need is that one hypercharge to completely flip the game on its head. We've seen that a lot in World Finals. So for me, Lou, he's completely broken. Definitely needs a nerf. Okay, so now jumping into the third best brawler in the game right now, we have Rosa. So in competitive, Charlie's banned pretty much all of the time. So Rosa is just absolutely dominating in the power league scene. So for me, she actually definitely is one of the best brawlers in the game. The stats back it up because she was the uh, third most picked slash banned brawler in competitive. Really high, a good win rate as well. And also when you see the likes of Crazy Raccoon, the best players in the game mechanically using and abusing Rosa as much as possible, that's when you know she's good, right? Because normally they tend to use the sharpshooters or those kind of skillful brawlers, but they were just playing Rosa, who is the most brain dead brawler in the game. Her hypercharge is just completely broken and as I said, I think only Charlie can truly shut down Rosa in the game right now. She's so deadly and so incredibly OP. So now jumping into the second best brawler in the game right now, I still went with Cordelius. So the main reason why I think Cordelius is so strong, because of course, he was the fourth most picked slash ban brawler in competitive. Going to show just the pros really rate him. But I think there's a few key reasons. So Cordelius is just incredibly strong in so many different game modes. You take Heist, for example, you can remove the opponents from the objective so they can't deal with damage that can be really good for wasting time in Bruble, if for example there's just one player remaining on the enemy team you could just super them and get a free goal every single time you know hot zone for example you can remove them from a job there's just so many op ways to use and abuse his super it's kind of crazy and also the one that i really like about him is the fact that how hard he hard counters those um hypercharged brawlers so again for example if like a jackie or rosa is running at you with hypercharge you can just put them in the shadow realm 
platform, you can jump away, you can run away with your fast movement speed and completely waste that hypercharge. So you've seen even more use rate for him. His win rate is really high as well. I think he's so strong in the right hands. So you got to start using it. Okay, so now jumping into the best brawler in the game right now. Zero surprises right here. We have Charlie. So with Charlie, she was banned in every single game in the Brawl Stars World Finals. Well, I don't think there's been a stat like that ever. If I can rewind back, I don't think there's ever been a brawler that's been banned in every single game. Going to show how broken she is. I, you know, I've been playing some ladder as well since I got back from the World Finals. And I don't know how you guys play it because if you don't have a charlie on your team and the enemies have charlie it's near enough an instant loss unless they're just really bad she's completely busted her spiders are just so good at tanking so many shots her cocoon is just un uh, i can't even explain how broken it is the fact that you can just put someone in a cocoon remove a lot of their hp and then when they come out of cocoon they're just a sitting duck and just die anyways it's just so broken the auto aim potential as well i don't think enough people talk about this the fact that you can just spam auto aim even at the furthest range and still hit people reliably it's just way too broken so i'm just waiting for this charlie hopefully emergency nerf because she really needs it i, I don't feel like i can't play ladder i feel like i have to play power league so at least i can ban her all the time and have fun playing the game so that's gonna be it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section below your top 10 brawlers whether i missed out on any but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time